family size and the success of family size in the United States. Um, uh, I want to bring to you today something that I've attained throughout uh, my senior year's senior project that we had for my uh, literature class. And uh, it's about the specific family size that we're controlling here in the United States and spreading to the rest of the world. You know, like you, I have plans after college. And for that reason, I'm not having a kid right now. Um, I hope to do many things. I want to hopefully get my degree, buy a house, and have a family. And only in that order. Um, and if I don't do it in that order, I'm most likely not going to get the success that I want. Um, your chances of doing all of these things are greatly improved when you're taking uh, contraception methods and when you're getting health care. Um, uh, something that's being put at risk today is uh, the health of our families. Because of acts like Medicaid and uh, Title X, um, we have a two-person average family household, two-person child average household here in the United States. And I want to talk to you today about how if we don't control a two-child household, then we're not going to have the success uh, that, that we hope to have in the future. Now, there are currently 7.5 billion people in the world. But interesting enough, interesting enough um, there were only 3 billion people up until 1960. That means that 4.5 billion people have been born sometime after your grandparents slash parents. Um, and the first, the first contraception pill was made sometime in 1960 as well. So it's a coincidence. Um, for example, my grandparents had five siblings, had five children on my dad's side, and six children on my mom's side. I don't think they were really taking any contraceptions. And uh, I, I've never directly asked my parents, but uh, since I only have one sibling, they're either very patient people or they're taking contraception methods. And, uh, but both you and I know that families have changed and they're gonna continue to change. I guarantee that those with three siblings aren't probably going to have more than three children in their own family. According to the Census Bureau of the United States, many stats are saying that the future family will have on average two children or less. The matter of the fact is, population growth is scary for some people, but because of the style of living we're, con we're continually trying to improve, here in the United States and worldwide, it only hints at having a smaller family in the future. Now, Swedish global health expert and professor Hans Rosling spent the last 10 years of his life going across the world convincing the future of doctors that two children is the healthiest way to raise a family. He spoke at almost every health summit last year before dying of pancreatic cancer, talking about exactly what I'm talking about today. Contraception methods, family planning, family success, and how it helps your chances at a healthy lifestyle. But today's age, family size is easy, easily comprehend, comprehended. Um, back in the day, people were not only sub, people were not only, uh, there's not only problems with having too many children, but there's also a lot of problems with keeping your family healthy. Um, an example of this is my parents, my grandparents lost uh, one child, and um, my great-grandparents lost about three children, I think, on my mom's side. Um, but today, we don't really worry about that. We worry about um, child, child, um, not infancy death, but what's it called when children are born? Are born? Stillborn. Or stillborn, or they're just, we don't worry about toddlers dying anymore. There's obviously like pregnancies that don't follow through successfully, but we don't worry about like infants dying anymore. At least I don't think so. But, uh, 
when I say contraception, I don't want you guys to think of Planned Parenthood. I want you guys to think of just any health facility, like the hospital or your local doctor. But uh, more importantly, I want you guys to think about Medicare and Medicaid, because I'm not sure if you guys have a doctor here. Raise your hand if you guys have a doctor here in San Luis Obispo. Do you guys have a doctor at all? Raise your hand if you have a doctor. Okay. Well, that's good. Well, I know for a fact that I don't have a doctor anymore because I just turned 18 and I don't have a, an adult doctor. I can't go to my pediatrician anymore. So I'm looking for a doctor. But um, it's these facilities that just allow anyone to walk in and take your insurance, like Planned Parenthood, that ensure that I'm healthy or that females are healthy, more importantly. And uh, the success of this country is going to be based on those kind of facilities, taking your insurance and being your doctors. Now, the American Health Care Act is supposed to replace Medicaid, the ACA, Obamacare. But the sad part is the American Health Care Act is trying to stop coverage in Planned Parenthood and other private facilities. The American <coughs> Health Care Act is trying to stop females from going to their most available and readily accessible facilities. Um, um, the Unsung Heroes are uh, these facilities. Not so much the invention of contraception, but the distribution of contraception. And it's going to be those facilities that are going to allow our generation to have prosperous families and uh, people like you and I to keep their family sizes low and ensure the, the greatest success of our children.